Comparing global and local data in Rockwell and Siemens TIA portal reveals similarities and differences in how these two leading platforms handle data scoping and access within PLC programs. Here's a breakdown of how global and local data are implemented in each system. In Rockwell Automation, Control Logics and Compact Logic systems, data is typically organized into tags, which can be global, also called controller scoped, or local, program scoped. Global tags are defined at the controller level and are accessible from anywhere within the project, including any task, program, or routine. Global tags, or controller tags as they're also called, are created in the controller tags section of the Studio 5000 environment. Once created, they can be accessed by any routine, program, or task in the project without any additional steps. Furthermore, global tags are often used for sharing data across multiple programs or routines, such as status indicators, commands, or I.O. data. In this example, a global tag structure called EM Cooling Tunnel was created using a UDT data type. It includes three conveyor structures, assuming array element 0 is unused, and two cooling structures, assuming again array element 0 not being used. Local tags are tags defined within the scope of a specific program, and they are not accessible outside that program. These are referred to as program scoped tags in Rockwell systems. Local tags are defined in the parameters and local tags section of a specific program in Studio 5000, and they are accessible only within the routines of that program. They're typically used to encapsulate data specific to the program's operations, enhancing modularity, and making management tasks, such as copying and pasting programs, more efficient. Siemens uses global data blocks, or DBs, to store and manage global variables. DBs can be accessed from anywhere in the PLC project, including any organization blocks, OB, function block, FB, or function, FC. Global DBs are declared independently of any specific block, and they are available project-wide. Creating global data blocks in TIA portal is straightforward. First, under program blocks, click on Add a new block. Next, choose data block and make sure global DB is selected as the block type. Finally, assign a name to the data block and click OK. In this example, I've created a global DB named EM Cooling Tunnel within the global data program group. This data block includes all the data related to the cooling tunnel module, containing three conveyors and two cooling units. The structures for the conveyors and the cooling units were created using arrays of user-defined data types. GlobalDBs can store simple data types like booleans, integers or reals, or complex data types like structs, UDTs or arrays. Now let's have a look at local data. In TIA portal, local data is available for FBs, FCs and OBs and are handled through instance data blocks and temporary variables. When using function blocks, instance data is stored in an instance data block and in this example, if we open the main program cycle OB1, you can see that the main function block for the cooling tunnel module is called in network 1 using an instance DB. This instance DB was automatically created when the FB call was programmed. By opening the FB and examining the block interface, we can see that the local data of the function block is divided into an input area, an output area, an in-out area, a static memory area, a temporary memory area, and finally a constant area. The input, output, in-out and static areas are stored in the instance DB and they are unique to each call of the function block. Furthermore, all variables defined in the static memory area are persistent across program scans, retaining their value from one scan to the next. On the other hand, variables created in the temporary memory area exist only during the block's execution 
and they are discarded once the execution is complete. Temporary variables can be used in function blocks, functions and organization blocks. However, static variables are only available within function blocks. Rockwell and Siemens TIA portal each provide unique approaches to managing global and local data within their PLC systems. Rockwell differentiates shared and program-specific data using global and program scope tags, while Siemens relies on global data blocks and local data in FBs, FCs and OBs to handle data across various scopes. And if you're just about to get started with your first TIA portal project, or you simply want to get better at structuring PLC applications, then don't forget to grab my free guide. You can download the guide by simply clicking on the link in the description below this video. There's no better time than now to start your TIA portal journey. I'll see you on the next video.